Hey everybody, this is Missy Hyatt and welcome to another episode of Beauty Over Time. This one's going to be different because I've had a lot of people ask me, what does your living history room closet look like? Well, it's not really a closet. It's one of the bedrooms in my house because a closet just wouldn't fit everything since I do two wars. I do World War II and Civil War. So come on in. And then we got to come around the corner. We'll stop right here. First thing is I... I had my bonnets in boxes and in, in, in hat boxes, but I got too many. So I ended up turning a shoe rack into my bonnet rack. So here are all my bonnets for Civil War. And come on in a little bit more. And then I have my, my um, start over here to the left is uh, my cages. This is what you wear underneath your dress that makes it, you know, stick out and look really, really pretty. But these are all my dresses. So if you come in, and thanks to Ari, my roommate, who's videotaping this. Usually it's a one-woman show, like everybody knows, but I got her taping this for me. Anyway, these are some of my dresses. I start, I have, like, ball, well, these are, uh, that's a, I starched a petticoat, which I never starch, but I starched the petticoat. And then I got a couple wrappers, jackets, ball gowns, then it goes to silk dresses, and then we go to wool, and then we go to wool and then I have a couple cotton and then the sheer cotton and then stuff I need to sell <laughs> over there. Then on my shelf that really looks like a disaster, I have all the Peterson's books from 1855 to 1865 and they're really awesome because they have the fashion plates and stories and everything like that. Anybody that knows about Civil War, they they, they talk about goatees, but I like Peterson's because there's like a lot more stuff to do like um um, more handy, you know, things that you can do yourself and patterns and everything. Anyway, I got um, my petticoats and drawers and socks and then my shawls and my um, parasols. And I have a parasol right here that I need to, re oh! that I need to recover. Um, I'm going to recover and make a red and red. It's a folding parasol. So I got to do that. It's one of my many projects that's here in this room. And then you come over here, and I have these four boxes, and they're full of fabric of dresses that I'm going to make. So, and I keep buying fabric. It's like a disease. I know people are buying toilet paper now. I buy fabric. So, anyway, and then we have my hat boxes up here that have, like, some, the hat, oh, my, one of my newest hats. This one's really, really beautiful. Um... Oh my gosh, if you want to know who made it, just send me a PM because I forget her name right now. But um, this is a beautiful, I could even wear this for for uh, World War II, but it's a beautiful hat. So I keep this over here. I, I don't, because it's got the feathers, so I've been keeping it out and keeping it so it just won't get on it. Anyway, and my, and my travel bag, and then I have all my day caps are in here. And then, then in the drawers, I have all like um, sewing stuff, and then my shoes. You know, all my Civil War shoes are in here. So that's in my drawers. And then my sewing stuff is down there. Now we head into World War II. I have to keep everything kind of separate. So I have my old, this is a weary steamer trunk from the 30s, from the 1930s. So I have it with some of my clothes in there. And clothes are in here and some of my um, uh luggage and luggage with the has shoes in there and then we come into my closet and this is all um world war ii it's 1930s 19 early 1940s clothes you know dresses and skirts and all my hats up above there on my 30s and 40s hats up there and then i also have a box because i was going to start vietnam reenacting <laughs> Because, but I'm going to play Viet Cong because it's the cheapest reenactment I could find. It's just black pajamas, black pajamas, the wicker hat, and some rubber shoes, and an AK-47. And I'm like, oh my god, I can do that. How fun is that? And then I get to play and go run around and shoot at people and everything. So that's going to be really fun. And I even have the voice already. <clears throat> you got girlfriend, Gia? So I don't know if that's my Vietnam voice. Anyway, so thank you for the um, coming with me on a journey through my living history closet. And until next time, I will see everyone. And if you like what you see and subscribe, please. Until next time, bye.